Data aggregation is the process where data is joined, merged, or generalized to suit a need. This may be done in such a way to protect the information at a lower level. So here I have QGIS desktop open with the countries layer loaded. And from the menu bar, I'll choose Vector, Geoprocessing Tools, Dissolve. I'll set up the Dissolve tool to dissolve based on the subregion attribute column. So countries is my input vector layer. And then I can choose the Dissolve field. If I choose Dissolve All, it would dissolve all the polygons into one. However, I want to dissolve it into subregions. So I'll choose subregion as the dissolve field. And then I'll pick the output shapefile. And I'll name it subregions.shape. Once that's done, I'll click OK. It processes the data. And the result is an example of data aggregation. I'll click Close. In this scenario, all the data by country have been aggregated to the subregion level. To summarize Lab 4, spatial and attribute data accuracy are important. Having a complete data set and keeping track of all the edits and errors is also important. Metadata serves as a background on the data provided to us. It supplies us with vital information regarding the use and resolution of the data. If you read the metadata, you may be able to determine that the data is not a good fit for your project before trying to edit and manipulate it. Data aggregation is a way to abstract the data and remove the data levels from the data. In this task three, you change the lowest level in the data from countries to subregions. This is important, but we need to be aware of the consequences of our actions when mapping data and how the accuracy is changed when we manipulate it.